git software installation team there are two types of git softwares one is git server another one is git client one is git server another one is git client git server git server team is a repository is a repository git server team it is a repository okay now it is used to it is used to it is a repository it is the largest host of source code in the world world old team okay old now here see that means it is used to store or maintain the source code of the project maintain the source code of the project some of the git server tools are GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, GitBlit, some of the Git server tools are, are GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, git blit no see now okay let us assume that okay let us assume, assume that i have a bank project please focus on i have generally if you have bank project bank is maybe your city bank We have different types of the projects. We have different types of the projects team. We have cards projects. We have loans project. We have offers projects. We have payments projects and so on we have different projects your city bank is very intelligent guy cards projects is given to okay infosys infosys vendor loans projects are given to tcs Offers projects are given to Cognizant or CTS. Payments projects are given to Vipro or something. Okay, now. Now, CT, very, very important. Now please try to understand me. So, 
some developers are working on cards projects some developers are working on loans projects some developers are working on payments project and some developers are working on offers project offers project now we'll see now we'll see practical detail please try to understand it is a my git server it is my git server it is my git servers like github bitbucket github comma bitbucket team please try to understand team any doubts okay you can ask me team please here we have all the projects are there we have we have all the projects are there team here see now the different projects we have we have cards projects cards projects are given to whom infosys around 400 or 500 employees are working on this cards project today. now please try to understand here i will tell only one cards project source code is available here in git repo in github repo cards project source code is available here loans project source code is available here loans project source code is available here here payments project source code is available here now here offers project source code is available here offers project source code is available here so my intention is github is github GitHub is the largest host source code in the world. Okay, team. That means GitHub will have, if your client is a city bank, city bank related, all the projects are available in where? GitHub. Understood, team. It is your server. Server will have all the project okay, source code is there. Server will have all the project okay, source code is there. Now, how to work this? That we'll see. Okay, how to work this? Okay, that we'll see. So, GitHub is an is an okay. GitHub is an software which contains the source code of the all the projects. How to connect to, to GitHub? First one. How to connect to, to GitHub? How to connect to, to GitHub? Answer is to connect GitHub. We need URL, username, password. To connect GitHub, we need URL, username, and password is required. For example, HTTP colon repo dot citybank dot com slash slash okay slash team you name three no password welcome one two three to connect please try to understand team to connect to, to github 
we need url username and password is required okay connect to github we need url username and password is required understand team please try to understand team okay, next one team what is the okay, next question team next question team see now see once you will connect to github you will login into github okay once you will login into okay, github of here what happened if i want to access this source code of the cards let us assume that http colon repo dot citibank.com slash slash projects slash cards projects slash cards projects hey here if you see here not not here github git server url will be same for all the developers but credentials would be varied from developer to developer credentials would be varied from developer to developer git server will be same for git server url will be same for all the developers all the developers credentials will be varied for developer stock developers okay if you want to access these card projects you will use cards username username is sampath password is see from the cards there are 100 people are okay working on this cards for all the 100 people for all the 100 people url will be same username will be different url will be same username will be okay, username and password will be different to team okay please try to understand git url will be same but username and password will be different using this using this how many of okay, the developers are there in okay, infosys all the developers can able to access to this cards project can able to access this cards project but they can't able to access for payment to project source code why your admin guy will be okay, restrict hey this user can able to access for only cards project only because you are authorized to for only cards project you are doing only for cards project only you can't use it for other projects even though if you know the url for other projects even though if you know the url for other projects like payments even though if you know the url for other projects but you can't do anything you can't do anything so you cannot access this in payments only authorized guys only can able to access it only authorized guys only can able to access it understood team see whoever is working for payments project whoever is okay working for payments project okay only payments project so team only can able to access this payment project source code okay this guy can't able to access for this guy can't able to access for cards project even though they know the cards project but they can't able to access for cards project 
they can't able to access for cards project to team hope you are clear team okay everyone so there are so many projects is there inside of the your github you are able to access for your projects only for authorized purpose only you can't able to access for all the you can't able to access for all the applications okay all the projects okay you can't able to access for all the projects with your single uri team understand team are you following or not please yes sir yes yes it is a tool and github is an okay central repository okay distributed okay version control is a github okay, i will tell you again okay team till now are you clear team in your real time if you joined any company they will provide git url username and password to access the your git servers like github bit bucket all are same only no not okay when we joined company okay our team lead our manager will share the git server url comma username and password will will be git url comma manager will be share manager will be share git url comma username and password okay every developer every developer will connect it in server and get the okay source code source code from git server do the changes in local in local okay, test it then then move to then move to git server then move to move to git server okay we can see the here of the files what are the changes changes we did during project development to team everyone okay team okay everyone okay next one team okay, next one team please try to understand okay next one team note again okay one more note one more note team we cannot we cannot see the github location it is server location where it has installed it would be installed installed on any any one of the cloud like aws comma azure comma cloud like okay aws comma azure comma and so on are are any data center okay any data center team we can't see the git server physical location we can't see the git server physical location where it has installed physical location where it has okay, installed where it has okay, installed it would be it would be okay, installed okay it would be okay okay installed on any one of the any one of the clouds like aws azure or 
any character or any character sorry or any okay, data center team got it team everyone now now see it is about git server now git client now git client team any doubts on okay, git server team any okay, doubts on okay, git okay, next point not developer mission not developer mission developer mission or system no need git hub software no need github software just we need we need url comma username comma password we need url comma username comma password to connect to git server understood to connect to git server team now it is clear or any questions team please ask developer mission no need for git hub you know or any client softwares no need to now here developer missions no need to github software just developer mission no need to no need github software just we need url username and password to connect to github understand our git server good answer now git client softwares connect with team to connect with gmail what we need team can anyone tell to connect with gmail what we need to Gmail app. Gmail dot com. What to is Gmail app or uh, yeah, Gmail, Gmail app is required. Website. Hmm. Gmail. Okay. URL. Website is okay. You know the Gmail. Okay. URL. Okay. Username and password. But where you type this URL, username and password? Any browser uh, app or uh, any browser? Uh, yes. Similarly, Git to connect with the Git server. We need git URL comma username comma password. Okay, but where to provide these details? That is it clients. Okay, where to provide these details team? That is okay, git client. That is okay, git clients. So, here to provide these details, we need to provide the Git clients tools like okay, Git Bash, Git GUI, Git Bash, Git GUI, Git CMD command line, Git uh, git bash git gui git command line how it will come and also tata is git and also tata is git and so on Also, the data is git and so on. Okay, next one thing. See, client side. Client side. Client or developer side. Only, only git client software are enough. Git client software are okay, required team. So, to connect with the git server we need url username and password and where to provide these details means so we need to provide git client we need to provide these details 
details in details so we need to provide git client tools like all this one to provide these details client comma okay developer side only git client okay softwares are okay, required here only git client okay softwares are okay, required here how to installed git client software how to install git client with software scheme git software download it is an open source software it is an open source software it is in the form of windows 64 bit it is in the form of .exe file download git.exe file from sir can can we use git bash uh, as a in, in instead of git no 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 okay i will explain okay give me time see or run the git.exe file then we will get bit so these softwares one is git bash other one is git gui other one is git bash git gui git cm these three these three will come whenever you can install uh, git dot exe Whenever you will install git.exe, you will get this three team. Either one you can use team. You can use git bash, you can use git gui, you can use git cmd team. You can use git cmd team. Okay, now using this, using these tools we can connect to git server like github comma git bucket comma using these tools we can connect to git server comma github comma git bucket by providing URL comma username comma password. By providing URL comma username comma and password team. Let's say see done. Click on next next. See if you observe here, hey. You want Windows Explorer, you want to git bash here, you want to git GUI here, you want all only default one you want. See, you have like everything team. You have git bash here, you have git GUI. Yeah, see team, Windows Explorer integration, you will get git bash here, git GUI here, git in CMD, everything will get it team here. Now, next. Next, next, let it get decide or override the default the branching name for new repositories. Next, git from the command line. Next, next, next team. Now, now once it will be installed the team, you will get git bash, git gui, git exe all at one place team. I told right Akil, git is used to, to connect to, to github. Okay, github is a large, you know, large uh, uh, source code, you know, repository. Now, here see. 
you see here now here how to see get why still it is not coming get still it is not coming i think it has been okay installed program files git yes so you have git bash cmd gui it is your github git help git help means how many commands are there for git add move restore difference grep pull log show states branch commit merge rebase reset to switch cd okay team now done it is for how to enable the how to enable the git okay git client team how to enable the git client team not only one team there might be so many will be there but this concept will be in same for everywhere wherever you want to connect to your github there you should be you know there you should connect that uh, connect those servers via this github and you can start team now here team okay next one see git bash how to connect these guys github.com connect with git whole team one second team still it is not coming see verify your password these many projects are there in my git repo how to connect git repo and all we'll see team so that these commands will see okay tomorrow now here it is github here it is now if you go for gui right git you see clone your existing repository or clone a new it is it is asking you are github you are or get anywhere anything you can give it to team target of a directory it is asking okay now clone see it will ask connect to doom first git hub connect connection value team i will explain to you how to connect to this git hub and all okay i will explain to you Okay. okay next one team this is what how the git client and server software installation any doubts you can ask me team.
sir can you tell me sir can you tell me what is the difference between git bash git gi and git cmd yeah see git bash for to work with this git bash linux commands are required is du means graphical user interface graphical user interface okay using this you know developer no need to enter the commands no need to enter the commands okay everything will be taken care by everything will be taken care by git gui git commandment is kind of okay it is for only okay windows team the command line arguments okay command line tool where developers can where developers can developers can type the proper url is it the service yeah sir always okay recommended for git basher it's all okay, it depends okay, ga means what can you do it's a graphical user interface okay, developer no need to enter this command okay everything will be taken care by whom sir this gui and it means your 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 options on your uh, okay your options if you type the clone it will clone so always okay, recommended go for git bash sir so, so that you will type all these commands okay you will type all these commands sir manually okay it will be good sir manually it will be good sir okay now here clear okay everything okay any questions now here see see developers using these tools we can connect to git server by providing url username and password give me time i will start our okay examples team all these commands okay okay examples you will start team before we start we have two things team one is git project structure one is git project structure team see Git to project structure team. Please try to understand. Now we'll have project name, branches, project name, master, project name, text team, project name. So you have a different, uh, you know, it is your project structure team. What is our Git to project structure? What is our Git to project structure team? Now, now project name, project name. Once your project name is okay. From the project name, you have branch, you have master, you have branch, you have master, and you have text team. You have branch. You have master. And you have tax team. Branch, master, and tax team. Branch, master, and tax team. Now you have branch means. 
so always we have project development code is there now here generally generally developers will do the generally developers will do the development in branch in branch once the code is working fine then move the code from branch to master 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 team move the code from branch to master okay now okay now team master file will have production code team production code okay that is a development code this is production code tax code will have released code team released code i will explain in depth team what is the project development code what is the production code and what is the released code i will explain in depth team i will explain okay in depth team project okay, development code here production code here released code is there team okay developers developers will move the code from developers will move the code from branch to master no, from master branch apply the changes into production from developers will move, move the code from branch to master from master branch deploy the changes into production master branch deploy the changes into production team changes into production team then once once the okay, production is successful then release the okay, release the code from master to tax team note once code will be released then then we should not modify or we should not modify that source code done we should not modify that source code team done you just got it team okay everything is good now or any questions team while doing branching strategy we will be able to know team while doing branching strategy we will be able to know team okay hey trunk is called that is okay svn structure team instead of master if it is a okay, svn here trunk is there it is in git project structure git instead of master now okay, instead of trunk we have a master team if it is a okay, svn right okay, svn structure okay same team svn project structure concept is same team here we should use a okay, svn svn project structure team here instead of master svn will have a trunk trunk instead of master svn will have a trunk svn will have a trunk team 
instead of master svn will have a trunk t instead of master svn will have a trunk t are you clear team the project structure wise it is same team are you clear akil okay, svn project structure branch trunk and tax you know in git project structure it is a different team git to project structure it is a okay, different team understood team or any questions team please ask sir hello yeah please yeah uh, sir uh, suppose one project is completed so we move to master i mean uh, production is done uh, we move to tags under tags folder so for example yeah. if any announcement coming how can we do that uh, you said once we move to the tags we cannot modify it right? no you have to take new version see deleted version means spring 3.x version is there spring 3.x is code okay development is there code is moved to production spring 3.0 everyone will be using now you should move into tags okay okay you should not disturb if any bugs are there spring 3.x start spring 4.x okay, development in branch again release it okay, okay. i mean once spring 4.x is done release that spring 4.0 so take yeah, the whole if, if any that version bugs is there yeah on top of it do the okay, development here okay sir thank okay. you Oh, one second. Okay, I will explain here. You will understand easily. If it is scratch project. Okay. Okay, you will understand here. Okay, please okay, try to understand. If it is okay, scratch project. Developer will develop the code in local. Move the code into remote server of branch. Do the proper testing in branch. It is working fine then. It is working fine then. Move the code from branch to master if it is working fine then move the code from branch to master okay now do the proper testing in master if it is working fine then do the proper testing in master. Do the proper testing in master. If it is working fine, then do the proper testing in master. Do the proper testing in master. If it is working fine, then. If it is working fine, then. Do the production deployment. If it is working fine, then do the production deployment. Once the deployment is done, move the code from master to target. That is release the code now here version is 1.0 version is 1.0 means master also we have same version version is 1.0 has been released now if it is a enhancement project see here please see here 
only for your question i am giving answer enhancement project or if any bugs are will come now we'll see get the source code master 2 master 1.02 branch change the version as 2.0 in branch to the development in branch do the okay, development in branch do the development in branch do the okay, development in branch do the proper testing in branch it is working then earlier scratch one now merge the code merge the code into merge the code from merge the code from branch to branch to master that is merging 2.0 version code with 1.0 six now master has latest to code both 1.x and 2.x code understood sir do the proper testing in master seven it is working fine all the scenarios then then it is working fine all the scenarios then then do the production deployment eighth eighth if it is working fine all the scenarios then do the production deployment then once it is working fine in production then release code frame release the code or freeze from master to target now what version 2.0 means in in target earlier earlier 1.0 version code is there now 2.0 version code is there spring 1.0 iphone release spring 2.0 iphone release what is mean by release hey it is freeze don't look at disturb this code spring core version spring core maven dependency See, release, 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 release means what? It is um, finalize this code. No one will look at disturb. If you have any bugs are there, take this code, fix it bugs in branch, test it, move to master, test it. Then we'll go to release. Understood, sir? Sir, sir clear, sir? Uh, understood, sir. Thank you, sir. Understood. Yeah, yeah. Now. next to one team very 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 okay, important topic team git to project structure team if you understand this git to project structure team if you understand git to project structure team please try to understand if you understand this git to project structure this easily understand team. 
this understand git to project structure team this easily understand thing. i need minimum 2 hours time to complete all the git commands team complete all the git commands or operations team now we will see team now we will see team git to project architecture now please try to understand not git project structure git architecture git architecture team please try to understand git architecture git architecture team please try to understand team now see team it is our local system team i would say developer system it is our local system i would say developer system it is our remote server it is our git remote servers like github comma bit bucket comma like github comma bit bucket comma git lab comma and so on okay now in this developer system we will create a one git workspace in c folder d folder we will create a one git workspace we will create a one git workspace it is our workspace here what i will do here in my local in my local it is a complete system p colon something create are okay i am doing some code changes to remote.txt text.txt parts.java okay. i am doing this changes to Whenever I am doing these changes directly from your local, directly from your local, we can't move to remote server. Directly from your local, we can't move to remote server. Now, what we'll do, you know, there are three stages here it is your work area adding to stage stage area local repo here you have a working area here we have a staging area here we'll have a working area staging area and repository local repository whenever you will first you should do your code changes in working area from work area it will go for where staging area why staging area will go i will explain from stage area it will go for where okay, remote repository from stage area it will go for where okay, remote area see what this okay, developers will do directly you cannot add from your work area to your repository area it is also wrong why it is also wrong all will look at discuss team please all will look at discuss give me time any file if you want to move to the local repo it is your local repository it should move to stage area from stage area only it should move to remote it is a local repository from local repository only it should move to remote repository from local if you understand this git commands you can play the games like anything trust me all, all these git commands all 20 plus git commands I can I can show you here only. 
okay now see directly you cannot from working area directly you cannot push the changes to your local repository any files you should move to local repository by a stage area only not not in there are three stages there are three there are three types in git architecture there are three types in git architecture one is working area other one is stage area other one is other one is local repository other one is okay local repository other one is okay local repository now number one is done number two there are three types in git architecture one is working area another one is stage area another one is local repo another one is okay, local repo okay, next one team next one team see developers will do the development in working area and if any files if any files want to move to a remote server it should be from local repository only should be from local repository only fourth one if any files want to move to local repo it should be from it should be from stage area only that is we can't we can't send the files from working area to local report directly directly fifth one team fifth one so First, do the development in work area, then send the files to staging area, um, then send the files to local repo, then send the files to remote server from local repo local repo understood it is your git architecture why what later we will see later we will see why what and all now here you have to use git add command why add i will explain tomorrow here you have to use git commit why i will explain tomorrow please give me time just a high level i am giving here what git push here what git pull pull okay here what if you want to remove from stage area immediately git rm or restore 
git rm or restore okay here you can see git to pull you can see git to fetch you can see git to clone you can see git to full fetch clone okay and check out not not check out this one i will explain to you all why it is how many one two three four five six seven i can see minimum okay 10 15 in this architecture you you need to understand this architecture while we are working with the git team you need to understand this architecture while we are working with git team please try to understand you need to understand this architecture while we are working with git team understood team please try to understand team please try to understand team okay now so this is what our git architecture team how many components are there in git architecture team three components are there working area staging area local repository you are confusing local repository i told right it is our local repository it is a local repo from working area if you want local repo commit from working area if you want to move to remote push from remote if you want to move to here pull push and pull team okay now you cannot move your code from your directly to your local repository first you should add into where your stage area once from stage area only it will move into your local repo otherwise it will not move into your local repo let us assume that you are modifying 10 files 10 files you should move into where local repo from local repo to at a time 10 files you can move into where git remote server understood team so it is very very important of git architecture team so i can i will show you one simple way how the git architecture i can just just i am showing you team how how the git architecture plane will be there working tree staging area local repo and remote repo first git in it local repo will be created i will show you tomorrow git clone from your remote repository to local repo git pull from remote repo to working tree git to fetch remote repo to local repo git commit a okay directly files will be added to stage area automatically will move to remote repo git add add to your stage area git commit move to your local repo git checkout move from local repo to working tree git difference okay git push okay see team how the comments here only is there new repo update one changes anything revert it difference this is the that's why i am telling okay importance of git architecture if you understand this git architecture we, we can practice those git commands easily you cannot move your working tree means from your local to directly your local repository because how your git software knows these are the git files you need to add to stage area whenever you will add to stage area your git will feel like okay these are the git files these are the okay these are the registered with git files so from git files you want to store into local repo you want to remove from git repo or whatever you want you can okay you can do it so from stage area 
you should move to local repo then only you should plan it otherwise you cannot plan it understand team you have to understand this this diagram team so that i will explain fetch means what push means what will work git add means what will work check out what will work i will explain everything team everything it is our git project structure team okay git project structure team please prepare especially git architecture team especially git architecture please go through once git architecture okay mm. okay everything should go for work area to stage area stage area to local local to remote only team thank you team